Tobin says me. <laughs> hey. What's going on in here? We're torturing detainees. Or is that somebody in the in the porta potty? Be alright, man. Be alright. Watch out for where are you going? Which taco place are you going to? Don't go back to that one. <laughs> Jeez. So yeah, that that's a weird scream. Jeez. I've heard that before, you know, I think uh, one time going into my weed place, and unfortunately I wasn't, uh, I don't think I was recording it, or I wasn't really sure what it was. I think I just assumed that it was one of the civilians outside, you know, and just for whatever reason must have been yelling about my helicopter or something. But that's the second time I've heard that, where just coming in here, just coming into a place and you hear a scream like that. <laughs> Very strange. I don't know. Well, let's make some gun running money. Hopefully it'll let us. So I said in our last Dark Air, Air Cargo Cell that we were in the middle of this uh, weird little extra day. And like I said, certain missions are not working. You know, I wasn't able to run head under and stuff. But then I was able to run one of them. So it's kind of weird. And I couldn't uh, source a car. But, well, they would let me launch the mission, but nothing would show up. So, But it did let us do the air cargo. And uh, now I'm going to see if it lets us do the, uh, the Chumash Bunker Cell. So resupply as usual. And sell. 210,000 to the city. Nice, easy, quick sell mission. Every two hours. Two hours, 15 minutes, something like that. But I don't really count it or anything. I just kind of do my thing and then show up. Yay. All business? All business Yay. The guns are in an insurgent. Get all it right. to the buyers and your job is done. All right. All right, everybody. We're all business today. Woohoo. Yeah. So we've covered this one before, I think. Although it goes to a couple of different locations. So this is the Insurgent Delivery, and it's a great one because it's basically a single vehicle to a single drop, which is really nice. Now, there can be a few different drop sites, and uh, sometimes you're left alone. Sometimes you have cops called on you, and you can use Lester to get them off. And sometimes the cartels come after you. And uh, usually I find you can just keep ahead of them and whatnot. Just keep driving, and you'll usually get to the spot just fine. So hard to say which one this is. But I do like it when we're all business. It's nice and quick. Nice and easy. Usually. Ooh. Coming through. <laughs> Two clicks out. Almost there. And unfortunately, you can't use any weapons. So, yeah. It'd be nice, you know, you'd think it would be nice to have a second player with you. But, um, like I've said before, quite often if I had a second player helping me, a friend helping me, it would quite often give us... Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> it would quite often give us a second vehicle. So we'd both be driving around unable to use our weapons. <laughs> you know, it's kind of dumb that way. Like I've said before, it detects the second player and it gives you other missions. And I don't like that how it does that, you know. It's like, if I wanted to do that, uh, I would have sold a larger amount. But yeah, so you'd think if I got some help, it would help, but not necessarily. Not with the uh, bunker cells, anyway. Alright, so here we are at the destination. I think, I'm not sure, it might have been to this one boats before. No, I think this is the first time I've been in this one, actually. But there's a few different locations throughout the city. And they're usually easy to find, easy to get to. Alright. Guns and ammunition. Get your guns and ammunition here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Paid. More guns on the street. <laughs> Just what they need. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We gotta keep the news reporters in business, right? So, rank up. Woohoo. Although I did like that I was at rank 357, but now we're at 358. Ooh. Although the rank doesn't really matter, we're past 120. You know, like uh, I know plenty of people that are that are below that, and plenty of people that are above that. You know, and plenty of people that are getting to 1,000. Hey, Looks Agent like Morgan. you sold out. I did. The right people too. Yep. Only the good wars being fought with those guns. Promise. That's what I like to hear. The good wars. Of course they are. <laughs> Ooh. Good job, everybody. Thanks for helping. <laughs> All right. I am the Mizzen Sark. And thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. That is another solo bunker cell. I think we've kind of covered that before. 
but you know we're just kind of doing uh, a recap on it i suppose and uh i guess to finish why did i sell the amount that i sold well like i said before that's just the amount of one supply in so you guys see me buy supplies and then sell supplies um, basically like that just goes in and out and it saves me from going back to resupply it so it's just one one stop sell you know drop in order supplies sell what you got drop in order supplies sell what you got and that's just the amount that it works out to and I like that because it's um, t it sells 210,000 to the city and that makes you 135,000 profit every time you run it so after you take out the $75,000 in supplies so and that's pretty good like I said mission for mission that's actually better than in my opinion better than the car warehouse not in total car warehouse is better but I mean mission compared to mission in the car warehouse you have to uh, go source a car and that can take some minutes and then you have to sell the car and that can tell say take some minutes and then at most as long as you don't do any damage it's, it makes you about eighty thousand dollars profit so comparatively speaking you guys just see me make 135,000 and probably in less time woohoo all right take care everybody thanks for watching see you again next time for more <laughs> grand theft auto online yep we supply Los Santos or San Andreas with all kinds of things. Everything it needs. <laughs> yeah. And when somebody has everything and you say, yeah, everything. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Ooh.